Hey, it's Matt here. I know it's been a long time since we've uh, filmed on this channel. Uh, I have a new job. I am a chaplain at a prison, and so I don't get to carry normal things. I like to in my EDC, like you know, my five and a half inch Voyager. And so I just want to show you things that I do carry when I'm at the prison. And also, I just want to show you some things that I carry like when I'm going to a secure place and it's totally legal. Uh, let's just say like a ballpark or a concert or a museum in Houston. Uh, when you're going to a museum in Houston, a lot of times they'll, they'll have a, a metal wand. Uh, they'll search you and they're looking for knives, they're looking for guns and all that sort of stuff. But it's actually not illegal to have a knife in there. All right, so uh, this is going to be about my work EDC, and I probably should make a clear division in just in case someone from work sees this, uh, but also I have a different EDC that I use, uh, let's just say, like I said, if I'm going to one of those secure places in Houston. So this is a Saddleback Leather Company uh, pad folio, pad folio, and it's kind of like a little office. You can put different electronics, you can put a laptop in there, all sorts of documents. You can have a magazine, put it in here, no problem. I might have a small book in here. The first thing that I want to show you is something called a slice safety cutter on Amazon. And uh, you want to pick one up. They're about uh, five to seven dollars depending on how the market's going. And so essentially what it is, uh, the green is a handle. That's all it is, it's just a piece of plastic and it actually has a magnet in it. Let's see if we can get over here. Okay, and so you can put it on a file cabinet and other objects in your office. You can put it on a refrigerator. And all it is, is a plastic handle with a little bitty ceramic bit right there. Oh, you can actually see it very well in that camera. But it has a sharp ceramic cutter. Uh, but the very interesting thing is, is since I work at a prison, to the touch, it's not actually sharp. But if you get like a magazine, and look at that cut. I mean, that's just, you, you almost don't even need scissors anymore. You can make all sorts of different cuts with this. And it's going to cut for a long time. And essentially how I like to think about it is almost like a, a, a modern... Uh, flint okay you know so you, not that you would um, you know that you would skin a deer with this and I, I don't think you could because the blades so small but you hold it like a flint and you just put it down like this and your go. vehicle just keep in mind oh well that's it's fine okay because you got you know a full magazine but uh, this ceramic is bigger than most other companies a lot of other companies, it's just this little bitty fragile thing. Uh, but Austin is right. Let's just say if you're cutting a single piece of paper, you do want to watch out what surface you're cutting on because, uh, you know, you could scratch the file cabinet. If you uh, cut on a metal file cabinet, it could degrade your edge very quickly. You can just throw it in your pocket, right? So take this out for a second. You can throw it in your pocket. You're not going to get hurt, all right? Uh, if you pick it up and your, your fingers are right there, you're not going to get hurt. Um, if I'm going to Europe, uh, this would be a really good option just for EDC tasks. If I'm going to a state and I'm not sure what their laws are, uh, it, it's not going to be picked up by a metal detector. And it's also very sharp. Uh, you can't really get through cardboard with it, but tape, uh, envelopes, um, all that sort of stuff, you can use your... Uh, slice safety cutter for it so very good product and I just slip it into this pocket and it'll just stay right there so definitely pick one of these up just try it I know the knife community might kind of bash me for this product but ab it's absolutely a fantastic product so you should try it out um, this is my keys I'm not going to go into full detail about the keys I also have in the pin pocket we have a James Williams a tactical pin and the really nice thing about this tactical pin is that you don't have to take 50 seconds to unscrew it you can just simply pop off the top it totally sticks on there it's made for it uh, i think it's a fisher space pin so easy to change out very high quality 
a very strong and durable. When I'm going to a place in Houston and I can't have this, uh, I'll pick up this Cold Steel FGX uh, fully serrated double edge. And I actually have two of them. This is the first one I received. And I've done a lot of testing with this one. And so some of the serrations are a little degraded and all that, but it's still very functional, uh, will work very well. I suggest that if you pick one of these up, is that you pick up two or three of them. One to kind of play around with, you know, stab some cardboard, uh, try out your water bottle skills and all that sort of thing. And then one you hardly ever touch, okay? Uh, one to train with and one just to keep in a bag. Uh, they're so cheap, they're only like $13 you can get multiple ones and put them in different places and all that sort of thing. But let me tell you two advantages to having uh, this blade uh, beyond the first advantage that it's completely 100% uh, FGX, plastic, gervery, whatever they want to call it, but there's no metal at all. All right, so it will get through a metal detector. Um, the next advantage is, is that uh, Cold Steel, they still come out with it, but they have their old FGX line, and uh, all of them are fixed blades, all right? I don't think there's one that's a folder, uh, but the thing is, a lot of them don't come with sheaths, okay? And so if you were to actually carry this thing, uh, you would have to come up with some type of sheath, and uh, I mean, you could kind of make one out of duct tape or something like that, but if you think about it, if this point is the thing that's gonna do the job, you just don't want to be carrying around in your pocket, right? Because if someone bumps into you or you take a good fall or something like that, well, guess what? That point's going to do exactly to you as it would uh, someone that's trying to harm you when you actually need to use this thing. But when you have a folding knife, uh, particularly uh, the safety of a balisong, you actually have a encased sheath, okay? And so you can stick it in your pocket, no worries, when you need to draw it out. Uh, just like that. It's pretty fast. You do have to get used to it um, With practice you can get actually really quick at it uh, Another advantage since it is a folding knife you have a five inch blade and Then you have a six inch handle that means you actually have some reach just like the other cold steel folding knives You got some reach with this thing and uh, the best innovation to this FGX series is actually these plastic serrations a lot of people think that this battle song is a joke. Uh, here's some newer serrations right here. Um, there's just a little bit of wear on them. Uh, but let me tell you, and I'll, I'll probably cut in the video at this point. This thing will pierce meat with very little effort. Uh, if you just tap this thing on your hand, you know, a lot of people will pick this thing up and they'll go like that. If you go like that hard enough, it will draw blood, okay? I didn't do it that time. You might be able to see that. I have drawn blood flipping it. Yeah, Austin has uh, drawn some blood flipping it. Um, but if you, and you'll see the video, if you put this on a piece of meat, especially down here where you can get a lot of leverage on it and start shaking the thing back and forth, it's going to cut meat. But you could just work at it. All right. Uh, Lynn Thompson, uh, Thompson Hill, and I'll probably cut in this video too, he demonstrated the slash. Uh, that can be effective, especially if you're working with bones right here. It's, you're going to hit a hard object with some skin, with sharp serrations. You will have a laceration. But if you, especially if you stick this thing in and then start to rip back and forth, it's going to cut through meat. It's not going to make the perfect slice, but you can make a really aggressive move and it will actually separate the meat, just like uh, shark's teeth. Uh, just like a shark's tooth, or I like to compare it to a dull serrated steak knife. It's going to get through the steak, all right? So uh, these serrations are absolutely 100% uh, an advantage. Um, if you want to flip, they have a Tanto model, but if you're actually thinking about something for a self-defense option, you gotta get the serrations. There, there's just no other option. And honestly, um, I'm not sure if it's a different plastic. It, it seems harder than this old school plastic, but I would love to see some functional serrations 
on these old school models as well, especially like the Taipan. They reinforce the point. That's also new. Uh, the Taipan, if you get the FGX Taipan, it's actually kind of flexible, okay? And remember, this is a folding knife. So look at it, I'm not sure. I can bend it, but it's not flexible like the old school Taipan, all right? So you need to get two or three of these. Uh, just try it out in the pocket. Practice opening it up. That was a horrible uh, open there, but just give it a shot, all right? And so um, just to recap, pick you up a slice ceramic cutter. Not only can you get this anywhere, but also it really is a good tool. Uh, the FGX Balasong, pick you up some keys. Oh, and one thing, the O-Light flashlight. Right. <laughs> Who introduced you to that? Uh, his Satsu 5 did, <laughs> all right. Uh, this is, I mean, it's in the evening, but even my brother, he's about uh, five foot away from me. If I shine this in his eyes and put it on strobe, uh, if we were out here sparring with our, you know, cold steel rubber knives, I would absolutely win. All right. So you don't have to wait until it's nighttime for this O light to be effective. If I'm not mistaken, it's actually 1500 lumens. All right. Uh, actually has a tail cap. A lot of modern uh, tactical flashlights, including O light, they don't have the tail cap. I think the tail cap is absolutely essential uh, for a tactical flashlight. Uh, it's very easy to get to the strobe, the turbo, and if you want to get to the dimmer options, it's very easy, but we're not going into that. Good pocket clip, very easy to charge. You can get uh, these flashlights on a plane. You can get these flashlights in a prison. You can get these flashlights in a- In a uh, club. Yeah, a club, uh, a ballpark, a bar, anywhere, all right? No one's going to send you back home uh, Unless they can't figure out it's a flashlight, they might think it's a pipe or something like now that. Let's look at the bezel. It's totally not aggressive. You know, it's crane-lated, but uh, profile? No, just look at the profile. Like that? Yeah. You can't really see any aggressive serrations. It's not super scary. Yeah. I have uh, the old-school Surefire E2D Defender, which had the super tactical bezel on it. Uh, you're probably going to run into some issues depending on where you're trying to get into. Uh, but honestly, this thing's so bright, you'd probably never actually have to work your way uh, you know, through somebody to stop somebody. You could probably just shine this in their eyes and walk away. And so, and, and you can imagine the combination of any of these tools. Uh, I mean, like, you're very well protected, okay? Uh, even, you know, if you can carry, you know, a steel knife. Uh, I mean, with a flashlight, you have a, a major advantage. Even if you don't have a knife, you have a flashlight, you are at so much more advantage than someone even in this sort of light, okay? It's, uh, again, it's evening time. So that's really about it. I just wanted to show you some different options that you could carry, whether you're at work in a secure environment and you can't have any of this stuff over here. Um, but again, uh, there's some other things you can carry if you're kind of at a semi-secure environment. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.